The Lego Batman movie premieres this week, and critics give it high marks across the board. But as the rest of us wait with anticipation, there's been enough commercials and merchandise to pique our curiosity about the plot and characters. Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I'm here with my top 5 questions about the Lego Batman movie. There are a few predictions about the movie, but no spoilers, since I haven't seen the movie as of publishing this video. Number 5. Why does everyone except Robin have a belt piece? His is the only printed utility belt. Production-wise for toys, it makes some sense, but in-universe, why does Batman change belts and not Robin? It's a nitpick, sure, but a noticeable difference among the superheroes. Number 4. How much will the Justice League be involved with the plot? We see many of them in the trailers, and since this is the Lego Batman movie, I'm curious how much they'll aid the cause and team up with the Gotham Police and Batman. Number 3. Will every Lego set from the theme be represented brick for brick? In the Lego movie, a majority of the sets were exact models from the movie. In most cases, I can see the vehicles are just as they appear in the sets. But the time bomb in the Joker Balloon Escape set and the majority of the Batcave set may be smaller than in the movie. I don't think the polybags will be in the movie except the Batman suits. Number 2. How does this movie relate to the Lego movie? Both movies list the same voice actors for Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern, so we know it takes place in the same universe. It probably takes place before the Lego movie considering the funny story Wildstyle mentions of how they met. But maybe this takes place after because the Bat submarine pen is seen in the trailers. It's hard to tell where this takes place since all of the minifigures are flesh toned and don't have yellow skin. But the behind the bricks for the movie shows one construction worker that seems to be yellow like most of the Lego movie figures. And number one. Why do the Gremlins and Wicked Witch appear in the movie? They are seen a few times through the trailers, as well as the vampire from CMF Series 2 if you look carefully. Do they play a big role in the plot? If you see IMDB and a few other news sources, there are also other voice actors that are listed for Von Batman characters as well. Could this be a tie-in to LEGO Dimensions? We'll have to wait and see. Thank you for watching this video, and let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to seeing in the LEGO Batman movie. For those who have already seen it, please keep the comments spoiler free. We'll see you next time with more videos, perhaps a few theories, after our brick theorists have seen the LEGO Batman movie. We're all really excited for it. Also, a special thank you for Film Select with a lot of the LEGO Batman movie footage, and even some of the LEGO movie clips as well.